Hello guys, uh, today we're gonna continue the tutorial, part 9, time to do some update with the post. So what we're gonna do for this uh, part 9 is gonna be all about just updating a post and make sure the author is the one who have created the post. So what I mean is I want the user who gonna update the, the post to be the, the author of this post because I mean it's its own stuff. So. Uh, so for this part 9 and uh, part 10, that's going to be really simple, small video. Part 11 and more now, that's going to be the fun part. So I really hope you're going to continue with me uh, on the next video because we're going to make a more kind of relationship like uh, a user can favorite something, can follow another user, stuff like that. Perfect. So time to start. So we're going to jump on the post controller and we're going to go... Uh, down here and we're gonna create the new function for the update so here pretty simple like always export an async function we're gonna call this one uh, update post we're gonna create uh, get the request and the response we're gonna have a try catch with an error here i'm gonna copy paste this line 30 right there because it's uh, gonna be almost the same and here what I'm going to do, the first thing I want is to find my post. So I'm going to do const post equal away that post find by ID. And I'm going to get my ID by the params. So that's going to be coming from the route. So here we have the post. I know I can do something like uh, find by ID and update and, and stuff like that. But because I want to have more control and make Sure, I, I can uh, send a unitarized uh, route, a notarized uh, error. That's why I do this stuff here. So here I'm gonna do something pretty simple. It's here. Uh, I'm gonna make if uh, it's not the post that user that equal what I just done here. Mongoose have a method called equals when you go with a uh, object ID. So by doing this, if I do that and I do now rec that uh, rec that user that underscore id, so what that means it's we're gonna check right there if the post user it's equal. So if the user id inside a post it's equal to the real user id who is coming in from the GWT uh, passport. So here I'm gonna return. So if it's not the real user. I'm going to return a res that send status. Nothing more than just sending a status of HTTP status that you notarize. That's it. Why do I just send a status? I don't want to send a message to. So what I do is when I send a message or something like that, I always use status, uh, dot status because I send something else. But when I just want to send a status, I use this method here. After that here, we want to update only what we, we need. Uh, I'm gonna use patch and what I want to do is I want to just update the part of uh, what we send because if you use put the thing is you need to send the full object when I mean the full object it's you need to send everything the ID all the stuff coming from the object but when you use patch you can just with the ID uh, for sure but you can send only what you need to update so here example, if my user want to only update the title, he can with the patch. But if he want only to update the, the title with the put, we're going to need to send also the full object plus with the new title. So here I'm going to do object that keys. And I'm going to put rec that body. For the one who don't uh, know what do object that keys, so what that means is object that keys is going to make an array of keys coming in from an object. Reg that body is an object. Remember, reg that body is going to be something like title, colon, so it's an object. And here with object that keys, we make an array with that. So finally, uh, that's going to do something like uh, we're going to have like title and maybe like text, something like that. Also in JavaScript, this is not what we need today, but you have also values. So when you do this, you're going to have like the title one and now you're going to have the contain. So what I mean, it's values make an array of the values of the, the object. But what we need for today is the keys. After that, I'm going to make a for each. Here, a for each, it's like a for loop. But it's, uh, I mean, 
just uh, make the code cleaner for me. And some people may be going to ask why I don't use map here. Map return a new array. So for each, the difference between map and for each, it's for each don't make a new array. So this is the, the thing. And here, my for each, what I'm going to do, it's here I have a key. So the key is going to be like title or text. Because remember, this is the update post. Here, I'm going to just do post. So this is the post here. And I'm going to use the uh, bracket notation to make uh, use of the variable. So post is going to have title. So here, if the key is title, I'm going to change this one. So you're going to see right there, I'm going to just say rec, that body, that key. So by doing this, the only thing that do is have an array. And I map like a, a loop over it. And I use this variable, we're going to be maybe title or text, and I just put it inside the post, and it's going to be equal to the reg that body that key. So always remember, bracket notation, it's a way to use variable with that. After that, we are really close to finish this one. It's return a res, that status. We're going to send a HTTP OK, because we mean uh, it's, uh, it's done. And I'm going to send a JSON. And here, the only thing I'm going to send, it's await post, uh, no, post that save. So another promise is, it's called uh, that save inside the post. And this is a way to just make sure we save it to the database. Because if I don't do this, all the stuff coming here going to be work. I mean, we're going to update, but we don't save, so we don't persist to the database. So it's really important here. After that. What I think would be a good idea is to jump on the validation and create a validation for the update. Here, we have done that for the create pose, and we say like this is a string with a minimum of three, but we want to keep this minimum of three in if you update. I mean, if the user I put a, a three length at least of title, I want him to again put a new three length. So I don't want him to make a, just a, a, a one letter, that's it. If you want to update, that need to go with what we ask at the beginning. So here, I'm going to say update post. Again, I'm going to use the body. And now here, the title is going to be pr pretty simple. Joy, that string. Oh, not string, but string. Dot min. I'm going to just say three. Why I don't put require? Because maybe you don't want to update the title. You maybe just want to update the text. That's it. So joy, that string, and that min of 10. So if you want to update uh, text, that's going to be a min of 10. That's it. Nothing more to do here. After that, we go back to post that route. We're going to create a new route. Route, and I told you that's going to be a patch. After that, the route, we need the params ID. So we put colon. After that, we want it to be uh, to have authentication on it. So we add the authentication middleware. After this, we're going to add the validate uh, middleware where we're going to put post validation dot update post. And finally, now we can put the post controller that update post. Because I use prettier, I'm going to run a shift uh, option F. And now that make my code a bit pretty. <laughs> and now what we can do. It's now I'm going to uh, get all my posts. So if I, I send here, I get all the posts I have. Now I want to update because we know we need to be logging. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a login. So now I have my token inside my route. I'm going to go to my new tab. I'm going to put my token right now. So inside authorization, I'm going to put it inside a value. After that, I'm going to put patch here. I'm going to copy paste this URL. I'm going to paste it there just because that's going to help me. And now I'm going to want to update the first one here really easy. So I'm going to take the ID of this one. I'm going to copy paste slash ID to get the params that ID right there. And now what I can do, it's inside my body. I'm going to just need to tell which value I want to update. So it, uh, remember to put X form URL into it. So what I want to update is going to be the title. So I'm going to say title and I want the title to be tight. Uh, Title 11 hello well something like that and now if I send and now that's work you see I received my title 11 with hello well and now looks but it's funny too my slug has changed yes 
How did I did that? That was pretty simple. It's inside the model when we do pre-validate. Every time you save, you validate. So that just make a new slugify. So you see, that's why I use this method. And that just make your life so much simpler after that. You don't need to rerun for yourself. But now, do this thing I have really saved inside the DB? That's maybe your question. Now, for checking that, I'm going to just rerun again, get all posts. And now you see, I got title 11 hello world. Now, maybe I want to just put oh, title 11 like before. Now, let's come back. My let's come back. But now, look what's going to happen. That's the thing I love about my unique uh, uh, validator. So now, if I put 10, it's going to work too. Title 10, it's already taken. So, you see, so the user who are going to update need to update uh, against what you have asked. So, if the schema don't want it to have another title, that's going to work there too. And now we have worked with the title. I'm gonna just change the text. I'm gonna just say, uh, example, I'm gonna just check if that's gonna work for both. So I'm gonna say text. This is an awesome text again. And hello world, just to be sure. And now if I send, this is an awesome text again. Hello world, that's it. So we are sure right now, everything is working there. And so we good to go with the update method. So, uh, I'm gonna push again the code in uh, GitHub. So uh, I'm gonna let again the GitHub link in the description. I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna try to make the video uh, today about the delete. And after that, please uh, stay with me. That's gonna be really fun when we're gonna do the more relationship stuff with MongoDB. And I'm sure you're gonna love this part. And I hope you enjoy. I really like if you put comments. I really appreciate that. That really motivate myself. And so we talk later. Have a good day.